Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to the Aravaki campaign for Total War Rome 2. So here we are on the campaign map and in the previous episode we were able to rather sneakily get Portus the Manum from the well from the diplomacy screen. <laughs> no bloodshed spilled and we now have half of this region in the north. But of course, like I said previously, I am thinking about moving one of these armies probably this army south so I'm going to do that now and what I aim to do is to go to the Gaetuli lands in the south and take this out gives us something to work with when we eventually go to war with Carthage I think war will be imminent I took the provinces I wanted to take and now we have multiple provinces from Carthage in the south which I have to be wary of now Carthage are on good terms with me as a matter of fact because of my military actions against the Oritani, which is the tribe I replaced in those provinces and it looks like I could get trade with them. I don't want to do that yet because eventually I will go to war with them and if I break my trade agreement then I'll have a penalty against all these other tribes. Now I'm thinking perhaps in the meantime I could expand north as well as south so get this land in the Gaetuli and then also take out all of this t to conquer the rest of Iberia. I currently only know four factions and they're all pretty happy with me. The Gaetuli are the only ones which are not. But the Gaetuli, I've got no allies and they are at war with Libya, Maasaili and Carthage. The Vascones are at war with the Astures in the north. The Vascones are allied with the Volcai, which are up here somewhere I believe. The Astures, which probably is the one to, t to take out, are only at war with the Vascone. So that's another possibility there. So, I think I got an army in the north somewhere. We do. Now, it might be interesting to get involved in this war. I wouldn't suffer any penalties. I think that's what we will aim to do. So, we have the defenders of Lugos here. Now, I need to recruit some men. So, what do we need? We need some cavalry. And I can't do any more this turn. <laughs> but we'll get our cavalry unit in anyway. I'll get a full stack from Lugos and we'll try to take out the Asturicans and then Palantia and while they're currently at war with these up here which it looks like they're actually going to take out the Palantia so I'll have to wait and see what happens up there but in the meantime I think we can probably end the turn I'm going to do that now and we'll see if anybody does anything to me this turn it might be in my interest to try to discover some of the other factions like the Etruscans, uh, Rome, the Samnites see where they, uh, their loyalties lie at the moment see who they're trading with, who they're not trading with, etc. Who they're allied with. But we'll have to wait and see. So this army has ballista, we have lo lots of Scutari spearmen, some cavalry, we've got a pretty good uh, army here. I think we could do with probably some swordsmen. So we'll get three swordsmen to be built here. And I'll be good for that. And I probably should check some of my provinces in the meantime, so we have a field. I'm, I'm unwilling to do this because I don't need the food bonus because I have 27 food at the moment. So there's absolutely no point in me doing that. Can't do anything with these provinces up here. Let's just quickly fly through them. Done these ones. And Kartuba is fine. And then we have Libisoa over here. Oh, Libisoa needs to be redecorated by the like thing. So we need to repair the costs. It's going to eat up lots, most of my money, unfortunately. Did they attack? They are attacking, by the looks like. No, they are raiding. So this will probably weaken them, I imagine. And then we'll be able to swoop in with this army. So let's get this army on the border, at least. Get them near, nearer to where we need to go. This stayed in Lugos long enough. Lugos is now happy with me, 100%. Uh, yeah, probably haven't got enough men yet, but I can probably recruit some. I don't have any... Artillery, that's why I'm weak in this army, unfortunately. And I've used artillery in most of my battles so far, so I will have to watch that. This army is sitting in Kartuba for the time being to replenish. This army is in Libasoa, keeping them happy. I need to keep these armies shared to replenish, to build up, because eventually they will be needed to take out Carthage. So for the time being, I'm happy just to recruit. Do we need to recruit any more here? 27. We are losing uh, 
we are unhappy, the population is unhappy, so it would be wise just to get something in to help out. And we're going to end turn again. Fly through the end turns. Hopefully we can take out the gate Thule before Carthage does. Gives me a foothold in Africa then. Research complete. Mint. Technology tier G, Tribal Council 1. Excellent. So, look at our technology. We have tier 1 on all three of our civil. We don't for our war exercise, so we need. We could have a harbour with that. We can have that there, or we can have this. Looking at what is probably the most beneficial to me right now. Ritual duels could be. All of this is uh, shipyard stuff, boat stuff. Not really interested in that at the moment. I don't plan on fighting many naval battles. Boiling oil could be a siege. Yeah, we'll go for that. Why not? Just double check everything. And we can now upgrade or rebuild this. That will help the public order as well by rebuilding all the stuff. Uh, let's go to the south. Let's just fly through the map down here. This army we're going to lead. What do we have? We have 18 men. Do we need any more? Do we want a full stack? Maybe we want a full stack. Um, we've got slingers, we've got ballista, we've got. Let's have two more Iberian spearmen to join this unit. And then this army can go south to the Gay Thule, and that will probably be featured in this episode. The Gay Thule. Yeah, we can take them out, I think. I think we can. I hope we can. Should keep checking just to see. Yeah, they're at war with everyone. That's good. Don't want to. My main aim in this campaign so far, and I think I've done it fairly well, is to avoid any unnecessary unnecessary wars with people. So, for instance, I don't want to be fighting on two or three fronts. Just try to keep it to one enemy at a time, pick them off one by one. I think that's been quite effective so far. Right, we want some more cavalry here, so we'll get two units of cavalry to join this one. Plus we've got my general, who is a noble fighter. And I want some... Um, Iberian Swordsman, I think. It's another unit of sports, Swordsman there. Brings up the 14 units. And they haven't taken Palantia. Portus Armanum. We do have a navy up here, actually. I completely forgot about this navy. Do we want to use this navy for anything? I don't think there's much in the north to do. There's no actual. Can't go to Britain or anything. You can go to the no northern part of France, but that's not even in the game. It only really goes to about here, so. There's no real point. It's kind of a waste. Uh, actually, though, actually, it's not a total waste because I can go all the way around for now, and eventually, this uh, this navy, I should say, is going to help out down here because we can actually go through here and into the Mediterranean, which will 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 be handy when we go to take on Carthage. So, rent turn again. Food supply is good, and maybe I will upgrade one or two of those farms. Just in case, we'll have a look now once we get to this this end turn. See how things go. Oh, somebody's got a spy moving around the place. Cheeky, cheeky. And seasonal conditions, populace, population surplus with this. Tertidania, right. So let's let's uh, expand the city then. And what can we have? What do we need actually? We sacred enclosure, public order is isn't too bad. Would be handy. Uh, skirmishers, don't need the enclosed land, definitely. Wealth, public order, I want to go for the sacred enclosure. Public order is only 5 right now, if I take this army out, it goes to minus 17. I don't want that, so we want the public order boost for now. Over there. These guys are down to minus 10 now, so... Maybe a unit, oh we can get ballista, we'll get a unit of ballista to help out down here as well. This is just me thinking, being a bit uh, OCD at the moment, trying to, <laughs> trying to go through all my units, but... It's definitely for a good cause, trust me. Right. I wish I had ballista up here. More uh, swordsmen, I think. Another cavalry unit and another spear unit. Two spear units, and that brings us to 19. Two more turns. Probably could attack then. What mercenaries are available to us? Cantabrian cavalry. We might get a unit of them, or perhaps Scutari spearmen. They seem to be the best at the moment that I can recruit, so we'll go for them as a mercenary unit. My ship now continues south for me, 
and I don't have any money left again. <laughs> That's a shame. Check diplomacy. Ah, nothing has changed. Gatuli, if see the Gatuli is screwed. They've only got one settlement, so they are pretty much buggered. If open war does come to them, the Carthage could easily strike them. But Carthage is probably at war with Rome. I'm assuming. It, this is the Punic War, so it would be kind of weird if they weren't. So I do want to check that out. Let's check that out just a second and see. Syracuse, Rome, yeah. So they got loads of enemies, so they quite they stretch quite thinly by the looks of things. Maybe it would be my benefit to to attack them now. Right, this army is done. Let's sail. Oh, what they doing? That way, yeah. Okay, we'll go that way. And then we want to go all the way south, and that's as far as they let us go for the time being. We could go on to double time. Doesn't get us very far though. <laughs> Doesn't matter though. <coughs> oh, pardon me. So. Let's see where we are. We've got some money to spend again. Oh, hell, Antigua, what is going on here? Minus 65. I haven't been paying attention to this. Right. Um, oh, we get minus 4 public order if we do that. That's not good. Hmm. What to do here? What to do here? Can we raise another army? Looks like we can. How about... A taco? Yes, you can join up. That helps out slightly. We'll give you some upgrades as well. Oh, look at that Celt Celt Iberian cavalry, and they haven't got a <laughs> the modern version hasn't been updated to this. So I want to get some of them because they look pretty cool, pretty beastly, if you ask me. Oh, we got some Iberian scorpions as well. So actually, we could rebuild this army and attack them from two sides. That might be what I plan to do. Just want to check these provinces now because I don't trust myself at the moment. Like minus seven there. What we got over here? Minus eight, that's fine. I think they're fine up here as well. Yeah, they're fine. And Turtidania, minus six. Okay, so I think we're okay there. Another end turn. And I've got to my ship. But that is fine. I think I got a bit of a cold again. I'm sniffing a little bit. Not very nice. Oh, what's your defensive alliance? <laughs> So they know they screwed. We not be sword brothers? I what suggest that you take your defensive alliance and shove it up your ass. So no thank you. I don't want to be allies with you. I want to crush you. Must take all of Iberia if possible. Let's get this ship going again. Down to the coast as far as it can go. Let's get this ship going as well. Let's if I can bloody grab the thing right. All the way to get Thule over here. That will do for now. So we have that, a little seed being planted there. This army in Khartoum. If we take them out now, public order goes down minus thirteen. So, yeah, that's not good at all. I don't like that, do we? Oh, but I can in I can upgrade my sacred enclosure. Mm, I need. I think I need the money elsewhere for the time being, especially over here where everyone hates me. I can't actually build anything new. But I can upgrade this. This army. Let's get some cheap units, is it? Let's get some Scutari spearmen. Let's get two units of them. That will help out tremendously. They've taken Palantia. Now, this is where I gotta strike. I gotta get in there before these guys, because they're gonna crush them otherwise. So, we will attack. Declare war. Oh, wait a minute. I want to declare war, don't I, first of all? So, where are they? Asturias. We actually have trade. If I declare war. I will get, yeah, so I want to break my treaty, yes, and then, oh, I got on aggression pack, shit, yes, okay, now I want to war, here we go, and by doing that, I shouldn't have the diplomatic penalty, which I could have incurred, and now we can attack Asterica, or Asterica, I don't know, anyway, we have a big advantage in this battle so let's let's continue the siege I think because they may help us out which I hope so because they can they can help me out tremendously so we'll break this we'll keep the siege going for now now they've only got this one province left they, we have nothing to worry about I don't think and we should be able to take that in this 
in this part. This army is going to reinforce and they're going to help us out against the Vascones. And we're going to push north, I think, then with these provinces as well. Numantia can be upgraded as well, but I will do that in the next turn. So we'll end turn once more. And I'm hoping that I can get a battle in this part. I don't really want it to be all campaign stuff, so maybe I will extend this episode and make it a little bit longer if I can get a battle in. Haha! <laughs> 10,000! That is quite tempting, but I need the province, so, you know, I'm sorry guys, but you're doomed. And as expected, oh shit, they've actually got the uh, units there to reinforce. And the Viscones have disappeared, so I'm not quite happy. Outrage po populace in Lusitania, so first things first, let's go to Lusitania. Wrong place. Lusitania, right. Minus 8? Oh my god, that's not good at all. Uh, oh shit now, minus 77, that's really not good. Well, we'll keep recruiting. Oh, I can get Ballista here as well, that's, that's what I want. Get some Ballista. Ballista. Why are they unhappy? Um, building Squalor, oh look at that, minus 16 that's given me. That's why you shouldn't upgrade your buildings too fast. Which buildings are the worst? I might be able to remove one of them maybe. I dismantle this and I don't really want to do it but for now it I don't really want to fight a rebellion at the same time now, unfortunately the Vascones have buggered off however this army has spawned up there and these armies look depleted it might be wise for me to attack I can't afford any mercenaries yeah, we're gonna attack them I was hoping that we'd get reinforcements but they've suffered attrition as well so we shall assault them. Hello everyone and welcome back. Let's start the battle. So we have my cavalry and my skirmishers in the back. We have my general and all my infantry in the middle. And then we have my four units that are going to try to get through the walls up here. So let's send the poor buggers to the wall. Let's get all my slingers. Get them on quick reload. Get them to attack. I wish I had some siege equipment right now. I could barge through that gate. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to send one or two units to the death, I think, to try and take that gate down. So without further ado, we'll do that as well. I'm assuming that they got most of their men camped up in the centre of this this province, this settlement. I'm going to fast forward this as well, because I don't want to take up too much of your time of me babbling while they, while they advance. I don't think there's any other way... See, these towns confuse me because you can actually walk up through here, well, at least you should be able to walk up through here, but it got a cliff so you can't actually attack, but yeah, it doesn't make sense to me. Pity, pity really. Attack, 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 oh shit, they're out in already, that's not good at all. That's right, fire from there, for some reason that unit went charging like a, like a madman. Like a madman. Unless hopefully the pathfinder is not going to play up too much while I try to man these walls. And see, so I don't didn't want I don't want to suffer these losses at the wall, and I've lost two units because of it. So yeah, we suffered a boo boo. And oh no, look at this! No, you fucking idiots running away! Get to the fucking gates! Come on! Get them to the gates! Like start climbing! Are oh, you bastards? So I didn't want this. Is this is why? Sieges are so stupid in this game. You can barely get to the wall. Come on. Right, we've, we've got one ladder. Let's let's get up that ladder. Come on. There we go. We, where are you going? Where the fuck are you going, men? Men, where are you going? What the hell? Men, what are you doing? You fucking idiots. What the hell is happening? Guys, get up that fucking ladder. Oh my god, guys. What on earth is going on? Right, you get up the ladder. Come on, up you go. Oh my god, come on, get up there. What the fucking hell? <laughs> 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 oh my god, this is embarrassing. Get your asses up there now. Skirmishers, kill them all. This is just pathetic. Oh my god, right, we have to go up this way, I think. Let's grab that ladder. Come on, get the ladder and don't die. Oh my god, they've glitched. Come on. Fuck's sake. Stupid b 
bastards. My men have glitched, guys. There we go. You fucking idiots. Oh, we got the ladder somehow. Oh, is that moving on its own? Oh my god. What the fuck is going on, guys? <laughs> well, he got the ladders up, that's one thing. And finally, are you gonna. Yes, you're gonna climb. My god. The invisible ladder went there by itself. And you're gonna go up there and die, most probably. Right, do I send all my men in or not? Because this is. retarded at its very most retardedness. Just send them up. I'm gonna have to send a few units to, to their depth, unfortunately, but. You know what? It's, it's it's important that we get up there and take this wall because because of this. Because we're just going to keep throwing men. I mean, we've got left one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We've got twelve units left. Didn't we have like nineteen at the start of the battle? Yeah, it's kind of pathetic, isn't it? Ah, man, what stupid glitchiness that was! Kill them all! I'm playing this in fast forward as well the whole battle because why not? I don't want to lose this army. I've spent many turns building this up. Oh my god. I, I love this game, but I fucking hate it as well sometimes. My, uh, they're just run, running away. This is why siege defences are so overpowered. You can, they could win this with just these uh, slingers and skirmishers on the walls. Because it's so... Overpowered, just trying to get up the walls. I mean, look at this. Where's this unit going now? They're running back there, then they're running back this way. My god. What patch are we on now? 10? 10 10.1? Very hard difficulty. Although, this is probably where the very hard bit comes in <laughs> trying to fight these stupid battles. Right, we've defeated some of these. some of these slingers. Now let's get our asses up on the. On the walls and try and take them out the b over there. Come on, get let's get frenzy going as well. How the hell am I supposed to defeat this cavalry? Oh my god, I'm embarrassed. I'm really embarrassed at the moment. The general's just sitting at the uh, capture point, proud of himself because I can't get my men up these fucking ladders. Get up there, you fucking twats. Come on. Get your asses up there. What have I got left? Right, do we have to send the rest in? Come on. Got these ladders. And I'm going to take the horses towards the gate. Perhaps they will be able to burn the gate down if if I'm fighting multiple battles on each side of the wall. I should have auto resolved this battle. I just realised I could have actually won this with an auto resolve. So, yeah, I should have done that. Would have been much easier. There we go, you just burn your gates down. Lose all my cavalry in the process, but why not? Headhunt! Frenzy! War cry! There we go. Get all our buffs going. Because why the hell not? Try and defeat this bullshit. Come on. Kill the bullshit. I command you to kill bullshit. Losing lots of men. Fucking towers are overpowered as well. Stupid things. How are we doing with our boot? Our boot? Our gate burning. <laughs> or our boot. <laughs> oh my god. What bullshit. What a stupid, stupid. Ugh, come on. Uh, I was hoping there'd be a tower down along here. Take the tower and defend it. Unfortunately, on the wrong side of the battlefield of the tower. Let's get frenzy going, guys. Let's get the fucking gates through. Come on. That's right, guys. Attack the skirmishers. Hey, cavalry, can you get in? Shit, you can't. You throw in. You fire at nothing, guys. Guys, what are you doing? <laughs> Uh, we're taking this this uh, little capture area by here, it looks of things. It's down to neutral, does that mean we can get in? No, even though the gates are open. For fuck's sake, come on, get in. It's neutral, guys, come on. Frenzy! Anti-cavalry tactics! War cry! Just get in there. 
hopefully we can get some kills. They are throwing their things at the gate that was open. You fucking rems, come on! You f oh my god. Give me strength, guys. Come on, come on, this is not fair. I swear to god, I'm gonna raise an army of mercenaries and take this fucking town. Like before. Headhunt! Get your buffs going! Get your buffs going! 56. <laughs> By the time they get through, all my men are going to be dead. Come on, I need a cavalry charge straight through the centre. General, don't die on me, General. You're the only sensible thing in this army at the moment. Oh my god. 64% damage. Any buffs? War cry! Let's get some war cry going. There we go, guys. There we go. Ooh, the fuck's this? Where you going, dude? Spearman, what the fuck are you going? Get down there. Idiots. For some reason they ran to the walls. Must be giving instructions to the cavalry down there. Get in oh, no, 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 don't die. Keep Come on, you're spearmen. They're cavalry. You can kill them easily. No, don't fucking... Oh, my God. Cavalry versus spearmen, and the cavalry wins. General, don't die on me, you prick. Okay, he died. Ugh. They're going to come... Oh my god, I'm gonna I gotta try to win this with four units of cavalry. Win a siege battle. And what we got? Tribesmen. They've oh shit, they got the tower again, so the tower's now firing upon us. Don't stop firing, fire. Get that gatehouse. Oh my god. I should just retreat, shouldn't I guys? Might be the sensible thing to do. I think I could do it still though. If I can get inside the building. 90%. How many horses am I going to lose doing this though? They've only got, what, 6 units? And they depleted 38, 83, 96, 68. I, could, I can do this if I can get in. If these if these towers don't destroy me by the time I get in through here. 98. Come on. 99. Bit more. Fuck grass. Get in there. Get in there, you fucking cunts. Come on. Get in. Oh my god. What? Don't route, route on me. Stop throwing! Fuck, get in there! Oh, that's only fire damage. I need to get actual damage now. Oh my god. Oh, I've lost. Fuck's sake. Pricks. Ah, oh my god. What a stupid battle that was. Defeated by their awesome siege tactics of bullshit. And alas, we have lost through valiant defeat. An horrible death for my poor general. We need a new bastard now, don't we? we? Can't take this guy. Don't have enough money, my god. Ionicus? He's anyone I can take. Oh, okay. I, I can't even get any more cavalry. Must take this one then. Oh, shit. Okay, so I'm going to end the episode there, guys. I've been Dragonheart. Until next time, goodbye.